Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Ryan Share here. Uh, this is a Dex Three quick tip. Um, we're getting some questions from people based on the new skinning engine, the new graphics engine that's been implemented in Dex Three. One of the new features is that the skin, the display, the GUI, will automatically and dynamically stretch to fit any display. So what that means is when you first open up the software, it's going to fit your screen perfectly. You're not going to see your taskbar. You're not going to see your desktop. Uh, and that's by design. Now we're getting some calls from some individuals and some users that, uh, you know, and some support tickets curious about how they would be able to view their desktop at the same time as using Dex3 uh, for whatever reason. Of course, uh, we recommend not, you know, navigating through Windows and using other applications while you're mixing. Uh, but of course, today's machines are pretty powerful, and it seems like quite a few users are doing that uh, with you know, a degree of success. So if you need to access your desktop, um, this is uh, how you would do it. Just take your mouse across the top of Dex3, just double click the bar. What you'll see is that the skin will kind of jump. It'll, it'll kind of resize just ever so slightly uh, and you'll be able to see your desktop usually at the top here right above the program and hopefully this recording here is capturing this uh, but all you've got to do now at this point now that you can uh, grab the corner of the software you're going to take your mouse and it doesn't matter which corner you grab you can grab any of the four corners of the application top or bottom uh, so right now we're just going to grab the top left corner and I'm going to click on that corner where you get the little double arrow which I believe is present on both Windows and Mac and just drag and what you'll see is the entire skin will resize dynamically. And you can actually kind of reshape it. You can make it, you know, more, uh, more of a rectangle, more of a square. Uh, but basically, you can get it to any size you're comfortable with. And you can move it around your screen. And that's it. And it is perfectly functional, actually, at this really small size here, too. So you can hit play. So you can be doing whatever else you need to do, accessing your desktop, and if you need to get it back to full display, just click the max button, and we'll jump right back to the full resolution. So once again, you just double click the top, we'll stop that, just double click, and it'll go back to the last position actually that you left it at uh, when you double click the bar, but you can get it real small or really large, and that's all there is to it. Until next time, keep mixing.